Vamos Gile Gile, Capricorn. Welcome to this Nineties Terratrax pool to the Love Rain September train station. Yes. We're busy burning it. Burning the midnight oil. Burning the candle at two ends. Mm, let's see what the cards have for you, Capricornicus. You are the mystical sea goat. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, hard work. And work frustrations is not getting done. In a life situation or in a work situation, you're looking at it and you're a bit depressed there. Mm, it's not coming all together there for you. But remember, you are the magician. And you have all the tools at your hands. You, you have the ability to succeed. You can fix all your problems on this Love Rain train in September. Right. Upside down, Queen of Wands, but we'll read it her right way up. Confident, fiery, positive and outspoken. Is this you? Or some witch, we could be a bitch, is not bitching you anymore. She's not bitching you. And this is the past. Well, that is the past of the bitching, bitching, bitching. You know, witching, bitching with the Six of Cups. It's memories. It's days gone by. And you decide after this full moon in August that we had that there uh, is money problems and you deciding to turn your back on it and walk away because there's a great knowing of there's nothing you can do to chew Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tarot tricks, ladies, tarot tricks. Card for you. Three, four, knock on the door. Five, six, tarot tricks. The Three of Hearts tells you that creativity is very, very high. You will be successful. Maybe write a symphony or two. You better start creating. Do some art. Go gardening. It's great for business and a love affair too. Happy travels included. But be careful with this Four of Clubs. It is Four of Clubs, Four of Spades. It spells a period of loneliness in a relationship. You're still in a relationship, but you're just far apart. You don't enjoy the solitude, and your partner continues to disappoint you. It's an omen of short duration, don't worry. Look for emotional refuge, such as your friends, work, or music. Any loneliness will pass. Because the Five of Hearts tells you that you have a marriage, a happy marriage, a brilliant, happy marriage partner. The feeling of perfection, reciprocal love returns, a great omen for reconciliation. You are on the right track, Capricornicus. And then, and now, and sometimes there is, well, it always happens, you know, it happens all around the world in every given moment. A baby is born and somebody dies. And the Nine of Spades warns you of death. It's the worst card to be dealt. It's very cruel. It has no menu like karma. And it makes no distinctions. This card is your relative. Or your friend or your friend of me too. An indifferent person. The worst is an announcement of a passing of your spouse or your partner. 
or even your parent. Or ultimately, it could be your very own funeral. But this messenger comes in. This person, this jack of diamonds, is a messenger, is an assistant, is a, is a little grifter, comes and goes as they, and they always generally take more than they should. Very untrustworthy, but intelligent. So watch out for this joker. Yes, he's a tomfoolery fool, the jester of the court. Sometimes innocent and sometimes stupidity, taking advantage of your gullibility. There could be good fortune in that, though. There are unexpected changes and potential for individuality. Let's see what the clarification cards can tell you on this. Love train. Love rain train. Love rain train for September. Wake me up when September ends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yes. There we go. Oh, somebody's rushing in with his argument very speedily. What type of argument is it? This messenger, this unfaithful assistant, the message telling you of. Bad news. After you walked away from your past endeavors, what more can we say? Simply tell. Hmm. The Ace of Wands tells you of new beginnings and birth of new ideas and creation. With a king coming in. Or you, the king, the king of cups. King of emotions, the king of love. Do you see? Why am I putting them up there? Put them down here, Diana. Then, and now, we get to more cards from these simply tarot. There. Now the king. Oh, it's a royal affair. The king of wands. Very outspoken and restless. Yes. Is this the death of a king? Or is this the gathering of a funeral of the queen of pentacles and the Night coming in. The Queen of Pentacles is very good with money matters. The very fastidious or fastidious. What is that word? Fastidious. And the Knight is a boyfriend coming in with this idea of money, this message of this concept of making money, you know, this idea which works very well with this court situation we have every king and every queen nearly <laughs> we have the king of ones and the queen of ones the queen of pentacles and the king of this is an amazing reading if you understand what you can see in front of you this is very powerful you have all the tools at your disposal. You've been doing the hard work. It's good to know you walk away from your past and your memories. And after every death, there is a great new beginning. And you have all the court cards telling you that you have conquered. This is a victory for you. On this love rain train in September. I thank you for watching. Please hit the little thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading. Remember life does get tougher. But we always get smarter. Because you are the light at the end of your tunnel. Shining brightly back. If you try a little bit better, life gets better. 
سلا نگاه کرده هم با نگاه کرده و ما گیله گیله You are very welcome here Thank you Capricorn سلا نگاه کرده هم با نگاه کرده اکس دی فیر چوز Mm-hmm.